Alright, welcome to Lines and Angles Fundamentals. In this lesson we're going to be going over, well, lines and angles. Uh, so you'll see in a second that we're, we're going to go over the basics and a lot of these rules are going to help you out for the triangle questions because you'll see in a second that these, these are kind of brother and sister topics. Once you got the angle stuff down, the lines, it's very helpful for triangle questions. Okay, first thing you should know, how many degrees are in a line? Well, you should know that's 180 degrees. And you can kind of show that if you think of a line being half of a circle, and the other half goes like that, a circle is 360, a line has 180 of those degrees. Okay, second thing to talk about. If I have a line and I split it up and I call that X and I call that Y, you should know what X plus Y is. What is X plus Y? X plus Y equals 180. So it doesn't matter how many times you split that line up, these angles have to equal 180, right? Because the whole thing is 180. So what if I split it up like this? And I do X, Y, and Z. What is X plus Y plus Z? Well, it's going to give you the same thing as before. X plus Y plus Z. They're going to all add up to 180 degrees. Okay, so again, it doesn't matter how many times I can split this up into 40 angles. Boom, 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 boom. All of them have to equal 180 degrees. Okay. Uh, let's talk about vertical angles. So on the paper here, it looks like a bunch of X's. This is going to make sense in a second. So vertical angles, let me just write this down. What are vertical angles? Well, if you have two lines that intersect, this angle is equal to that angle. That one is equal to that angle. So how is that helpful? Well, if I tell you this is 30 degrees, what else is 30 degrees? That's 30 degrees. Now what is this angle? Well, the whole thing equals 180, right? So 30 plus something equals 180. This has to be 150. And if that's 150, that's 150. Let's do it with variables. What if I told you this was Q, that's R, S, and T? What is Q plus R plus S plus T? Well, if you guys out there said 360, ding, 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 you would be correct. Why? Because you go all the way around the circle with these angles. So Q plus R plus S plus T equals 360 degrees. Okay, lastly, now let me move this over a little bit. If I call this X, what is that angle in terms of X? Well, that's going to be 180 minus X. If I call that Y, let me do that. What is this angle right here? That's 180 minus y. So if it was an SAT question they might say what is x in terms of y or y in terms of x because this angle equals that angle you can say 180 minus x equals y. And depending on the problem you know you'd either have to solve for x or y. Okay let's talk about some terms here. Complementary and supplementary. Complementary means it adds up to 90. Supplementary adds up to 180. So I'll show you a quick example that's a right angle, and I split it up into x and y. x plus y equals 90. Pretty straightforward, right? And this is kind of a review of what we just did. If that's x and that's y, x plus y in this case equals 180. Okay, let's go on to the next topic. Kind of doing things rapid fire here, but I want to get a lot in. Uh, transversals. I hope that's not an ugly word for you guys, transversals. I forget what grade you do this in, but I remember them being kind of fun. Just You're trying to, you're trying to uh, slide angles around and figure out what's where. I'm just going to review this. What is a transversal? Well, the first thing you have to have when you're dealing with transversals are parallel lines. Now, on the SAT, if this was a question, you know, it, it would look a little nicer, but you can never assume these lines are parallel unless they implicitly tell you that, or explicitly tell you that. So... What they'll have to say on the SAT is something like A is parallel to B. The transversal is the line that just cuts across those two parallel lines. So let's take some interesting things happen. If this is angle X, it's going to slide down to there as well. Why? It's in the top left. It's going to be in the top left here. If I call this Y, it's going to, I'll do it again. Good sound effect. It's going to slide down from top right. The top right. So you have to put things in their appropriate spot. Top right goes to top right, top left to top left. And when I say, you know, top left, top right, that's this, you know, in this area right here. So top left here, slides down there. Okay. Let's do an example. 
kind of a simple example, not really an SAT question, but just for practice. If I tell you that's 65, and let me write my lines, and I tell you A is parallel to B. Well, if that's 65, I want you guys to fill in the rest of that. So you can pause it or just kind of, you know, tell me what they are. Well, if that's 65, this is 115, right? That plus that has to equal 180. This slides down there. That slides down there. And you can fill in the rest, you know, vertical angles, that's 65, that's 115. But the whole idea of this is that you should be able to slide these angles around and really fill in the rest of the shapes. Um, okay, what to do next? Let me give you more variables. This might be a little more appropriate. Let me just move this up a little bit. Uh, test day, if they say they gave you a transversal and they told you that this was X and this was K. And maybe they want to know what is 2x plus 2k. Well, you can slide this down there. So that's x. Now using vertical angles. If that's x, that's x. If that's k, that's k. All right, so 2x is just that plus that. Or excuse me, 2k. 2k is that plus that. 2x is that plus that. The whole way around. If you answer 360, you get the prize. 360 degrees all the way around. So maybe that would be something closer to an SAT question. All right, last thing I want to show you, uh, or, or to wrap up with, with the whole lines and angles, I'm going to give me a second to just set up the page here. Uh, it's going to be talking about when you have, there we go, some shapes to watch out for. And if you have the College Board Blue Book, the official study guide, you, you'll probably, if you've practiced the math sections, You've seen that every once in a while something like this shows up where they have three intersecting lines. Uh, so let me give you some values. If I call this Z, I call that Y, and I call that X, you should be able to fill in the rest of the, rest of the, uh, the angles here. Now the interesting thing is that these three intersecting lines, they make a triangle, right? You have a triangle in there. So knowing that a triangle has 180 degrees, and I'll write that real quick, real quick. So this is why uh, intersecting lines and lines and angles, they all kind of help out for triangles. So let's fill in what we know. If that's Y, that's Y. If that's X, that's X. And what is this angle right here? That's going to be 180 minus Z. It's not Z, be careful. It's 180 minus Z, right? The whole thing equals 180. So I'm not going to solve for anything here. I just want to show you that you could set up an equation. You could say that Y plus X plus 180 minus Z, right, that's all these angles, equals 180. And it equals 180 because all those angles are in a triangle. So again, I'm not going to have you actually solve for anything, but it's just the idea that you should be able to set up an equation. All right, we've got about a minute and a half left. Let me see if I can fit this in. Next shape you want to worry about, or worry about, <laughs> the next shape that you might have seen before is something like this. It's on a couple of the, of the, uh, the SATs. And they might say something like this is 3x. Maybe they'll say something like that's 40 and that's x. Here's a and b. And they might ask you to solve. Solve for a plus b. Well, again, if that's 3x, what is this angle right here going to be? That's going to be 180 minus 3x. So now you can add all those three angles. And I'm not going to do the problem out, but I just want to show you you can set up an equation. So x plus 40 plus 180 minus 3x and what should that all equal? It should equal 180 because that's all inside of a triangle. So that's kind of the point of me showing you some of these shapes is that if you get some of the angles in here, fill in what you know. Even if you don't know how to solve the problem, I always think it's best just start filling things in and hopefully that gives you some clues as to what to do. And you're not always going to know exactly where to get or, or how to get to the answer, but if you just start filling things in, it will definitely help you out. <laughs>